Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We went into yesterday with Premier League Team of the Season, all excited and hyped for the Prem Tots cards that were going to be released on this game. But EA have released some upgrades and some cards that just don't make since I don't understand what EA is doing with some of these cards they have released and some of the stat upgrades that they have given these Premier League Team of the Season cards. So we're going to talk about that and of course how it impacted the market because some cards were lower rated than we thought. That made prices crash but other cards were really higher rated than we thought and really juiced and that made some prices go up. So there's the market's moving all different directions right now in this game and I think that's going to continue into Saturday as well. So there's a lot to talk about with the market. We also have to cover yesterday's content that was a big double especially with that crafting objective that was really cool and will we see a big SBC or multiple big SBCs today with more player SBCs and maybe an icon pack yeah we'll talk about that in today's video as well also down below in the comments I want to know who you packed because I didn't pack a single prem tots yesterday from 40 save the player picks and a bunch of like 85 5 81 11 those sorts of packs I'm in the mud with Premier League team this season but so make me feel a little bit better tell me who you guys were able to pack and if you're excited for the video drop a thumbs up on it and of course subscribe if you are new now let's talk about the SBCs first from yesterday there wasn't a ton we finally got the Alan St. Maximin but boy is he expensive right I kind of jokingly said on stream that he felt like an icon SBC a W dynamic image and albeit a very nice upgrade as well and I'm doing this card because I know I'm gonna have so many upgrade packs throughout this next week that I will be opening I'll be able to craft just about every SBC so that's why I started on him right away but seven hundred and something thousand coins for this card I, I really think it's not that terrible value although we're saying it is expensive because if this card was on the market he would probably be around this price that he is as an SBC I really do believe he would be about 700k maybe 600k on the market just because this is a nice boost right you take a look at his winter wild cards we got a plus six shooting plus five passing and five physical so a W upgrade here for Alan St. Maximin and we finally got the big boy exciting SBC that we were all looking forward to but when you compare this to the card that is in objectives as one of the rewards for the craft to glory objective you compare this to matoma i know matoma does not have the five star skills and he may not look as meta but statistically matoma is way better and it's kind of crazy that a 92 rated matoma in objectives for quotes free is almost the same or better than alan st maximin in terms of the stats so that's kind of crazy there this in my opinion is the biggest w or one of the biggest w's of premier league tots is this craft to glory objective which some of you guys may be confused on some of these sbcs and how to do this now there's four different sbcs we have to complete to get this kind of craft to glory objective done the prime bronze upgrade prime silver upgrade gold upgrade and the premium premier league upgrade and not all of these are available yet specifically this premium premier league upgrade pack this is not going to be out as you've noticed in the premier league tots season swaps the premium premier league upgrade sbc is not available until monday right that's our kind of upgrade pack that's going to be coming out so we can't really do this objective all right away it's not like you can easily breeze through this by doing a bunch of upgrade packs and getting the matoma and the paulina which is super cool you get both tots cards as kind of the final craft and reward of this objective that's really dope ggs to ea again like i said i think this is the biggest w objective it's not that hard to complete you just kind of have to do the sbcs as we go down the line so watch out for the sbcs that we need to complete this kind of getting released throughout the week and just kind of keep track of uh, how many times you have to do this there's some xp of course inside of this as well two different segments where you get 1250 xp you get a akocha at the very end you get some nice packs in between like an 8111 uh premier league pack for completing the premier league premium upgrade SBC 10 times which is going to be so easy to do this next week so huge W here from EA again like we said though it's very similar to everything else that's been dropped in season progress it takes a little bit of time because EA can kind of control how much XP we get and they control when these SBCs come out so they can kind of delay the rewards if you know what I mean so just kind of keep an eye out for that but that is a W by the end of the week we also had a Premier League Cup which is the same friendly mode as last week for the Air Divisie Cup but this time it is confirmed, I believe, that you have to actually play with the full Premier League squad. Last week, you uh, didn't have to play with an Air Divisie squad, but some people have been saying that you need to have a full squad of Premier League players uh, in order for this to count. 
in the objective. So make sure you actually do that. No icon squads, but still Premier League squads are going to be pretty cracked there. And then the Ollie Watkins, I kind of didn't even realize I got two of these done from playing a couple of games of Foot Champs playoffs, but this is a nice free Premier League striker with 99 sprint speed, great shooting stats. Again, 99 jumping, 98 heading, really high stamina and strength as well. Doesn't have amazing traits, but he's got really nice stats for a free card. You can't complain too much there. So a lot going on in objectives yesterday, not as much going on in SBCs. And of course, as we would have expected, a ton going on in the store as EA released the TOTS team that everybody is going and trying to pack. One of the highlights of the store was this TOTS premium pack. There's two more packs that are going to be coming this week. And there's like an elite TOTS pack and a TOTS foundations pack, I believe, that we have not seen yet. But this pack, a lot of people are opening 60% chance of a TOTS player. But let me tell you this, this is the highest percentage chance of a TOTS player in a pack where I see not that many TOTS players being pulled. So just be careful because 60% seems super sweet. But 400k, 2000 FIFA points, it's a big coin drain or it is, you know, 2000 FIFA points that you may not get that good of a TOTS card. Of course, you could you could get something amazing. So that's a gamble pack there um, that a lot of people are going and doing just because it gives you a really high chance of packing a team in the season. Now, let's talk through the confusion that we have with this Premier League TOTS team. There are some W upgrades inside of here. First of all, it feels like this team is set into two segments, right? You've got the top tier upper echelon players of guys like Holland, Kevin De Bruyne, Rashford, Salah, and Ruben Diaz. Those high rated cards, basically 96 and above, 95 and above, those guys, insane upgrades, right? KDB is arguably better than his team of the year card, um, being also 97 rated, but having 85 defense, a plus four defensive upgrade there. Yes, the team of the year does have plus one uh, pace and plus two shooting. But for me, I'd rather have the boosted stats around the rest of the card for the team of the season version of KDB. And then it's even no comparison for Holland, right? Holland is above the rating of his team of the year card with plus ones, plus twos, and a five star weak foot. Hence, the crazy, crazy price. Man, I know we did a price prediction video earlier on in this week once we saw the leaks. And man, how crazy is it that EA did not do anything close to what we were really expecting for any of these cards? Um, you know, Rashford, I had no idea Rashford was going to be 95 rated and be this cracked and this expensive. In my opinion, Rashford's the most overpriced card in this team for sure. But he is super duper rare. And I mean, guys, he did get a really massive upgrade. So GG's, this is a deserved card for sure and super cracked in game, but I think he is a little bit overpriced. Holland, the price is overpriced too, but it makes sense. The guys that are overpriced are the guys that actually got good upgrades, right? Salah with five-star skills, only a three-star weak foot, bit of a bummer. Ruben Diaz with a massive upgrade, plus three overall, and you look on the inside of the card stats here, this is where it starts to get interesting. Even though he got a really nice upgrade, take a look at his foot fantasy over his team of the season, right? He has plus 16 curve and plus seven vision on his foot fantasy, also plus five balance over his team of the season card. And this is why Premier League team of the season makes no sense. If we take a look at a few more cards here, Harry Kane, who some people are saying this card is absolutely cracked, over his team of the year honorable mentions, which is a 92 rated, a plus three overall upgrade, he got plus four pace, three shooting, four passing, four defense, four physical, and three dribbling. But if you look into the end game stats, look at his agility and balance, 75 agility and 78 balance on his team of the season card. That is five less agility and seven less balance than his team of the year honorable mentions. His team of the year honorable mentions is technically better dribbling in game, although it does have less reactions, ball control dribbling and that stuff. But with some of these in-game stats, it's so confusing why EA went out and did this yesterday. Uh, that's confusing point number one. Why are they reducing some of the in-game stats that they had boosted already? The only thought that I have for Harry Kane is maybe they were trying to keep him as a lengthy player if they would have given him more than 84 agility, he would have no longer been lengthy, right? I guess you could look at that and say maybe that's the reason why, but it still doesn't quite make sense, especially if you look at, um, I think it's Varan. Varan got like a balance uh, downgrade as well from his winter wild cards. Uh, if you look at the in-game stats, he had 48 balance. He has 48 balance on his team of the season moments. But then if you look at the 88 winter wild cards of Varan, He's got 60 balance, so literally a plus 12 difference there. It just It's very confusing why they did that on some of the in-game stats in these cards. Like Odegaard didn't get a composure upgrade on his card. So some of the in-game stats are very confusing for these. And then overall, why does EA have something against Arsenal players, man? I mean, how in the world 
is Hyun Min Son and Rafael Varan, just from a rating perspective, 94 rated Sonaldo, 94 rated Varan, but Odegaard is 92, the same rating as Matoma, and Saka is lower rated than Hyun Min Son. I'm so confused why EA did not boost up some of these Premier League team of the season cards. Now, it does make sense in one sense because they don't want every single card in this team of the season to be mega overpriced. Like, we were hoping Saliba was going to be like a 95 rated card, right? Well, here he is as a 92 with such a small upgrade over his fantasy card. Here's another one with some in-game stat differences. His fantasy cards got plus 9 agility and plus 2 balance over his, his team of the season. But... Uh, maybe that's what EA was going for here, right? They wanted these cards to be the most used and popular and hype cards in this game. And to do that, I think they knew that if they gave them smaller upgrades, they would be cheaper on the market, more packable. And I think more people would end up having fun on this game, even though the upgrades are less hype. They would be able to use the brand new cards because the upgrades are smaller and that makes the prices cheaper. I really feel like that is one of the reasons why they didn't upgrade these cards that much. We were hoping for a higher rated Saliba, a higher rated Martinelli Saka, and Odegaard, like all of the Arsenal players, they're on the bench. Like it's crazy to see that. And I'm, I'm a Spurs fan and I'm just being honest and saying this, that like, I think Saka deserved a higher rated card. 95 was necessary. I think Odegaard should have been a 94 as well with Casemiro. So that's where this team of the season for Premier League is just kind of baffling us and not making a whole lot of sense is why did EA choose to do this specifically with the Arsenal cards, but with some of the team in general is just not boost them up that much. And I really do think it is because they wanted to make the cards more affordable. And in doing that, I mean, look, we've got an Odegaard that is 150,000 coins on the first or second day of team of the season. And that really affected prices yesterday, right? One guy that I invested in a lot, I invested in three Bruno Guimaraes foot birthday because I thought, man, this new Bruno Guimaraes is going to be like 95 rated. He's going to be very expensive. And, you know, people are going to say, wow, I can't afford the new one, so I'm going to go out and buy the old for the birthday. Well, you know how that happened, right? Yesterday, the new one came out, and the price range was so low, it's only a plus two. So instead of going up in price, this Bruno Guimaraes is down loads. He's 300,000 coins after he was 430k. I'm losing coins here on this card, and I'm sure a lot of you guys are as well because that was a very popular investment. Now, the upside to this Bruno Guimaraes is he's got five-star skills. The new Team of the Season one does not, but that does not make up for the fact that the new one impacts with a cool design, dynamic, and better stats overall is impacting this foot birthday's price on the market. So that was kind of the chaos of what this market saw yesterday with those cards being a lot cheaper than expected and also having smaller upgrades than expected on some of the players. It made some prices on this market actually go down. Like we talked about with Bruno Guimaraes, Saliba's fantasy went down. There are number a number of examples of cards that went lower because the new card that came out was not as good and it was cheaper in price than what we really expected it to be, right? So as expected as well, these cards did start really low first hour. I bought Saka for 720 and 740 in the first hour. He went all the way up to 900K. I sold a little bit early. Yesterday was a really good day of profits as well. Um, let's see, who else did I make profit on in here? A couple of losses in here, but Nunez was 470. Bought this at 400. I bought this at 325. I bought all these Filfanas at 160. That was a really good flip there. And I still have some of the cards that I bought because, you know, prices went really, really high as expected yesterday as people went out and started to buy teams for their weekend league games. Now, with these TOTS cards being so cheap, though, looking forward into today on Saturday, this is a big point that I really want to bring up. Guys, these prices are really going to impact the rest of the market now for the next couple of days. It's going to make a lot of the rest of the market, I think, come down in price because these guys are just so cheap and people are going to want to try these cards. You're already starting to see it take place. Now, yesterday, some Premier League special cards we expected to go back up did. Darwin Nunez was 400,000 coins. He went all the way back up to like 450, 460. But look at him now. He's back down to 400,000 coins because all these new cards came out that are really cheap and people are trying them instead of these out of pack special cards I bought two ESOC yesterday with the release of Alan St. Maximin right here at 400,000 coins. He went all the way back to 450. I was listing mine at 470. Look, he's back down to 400K. Not all these guys are just going to keep going down. I do believe today, the market on Saturday, 
People will wake up and want to play games, and these prices will go back up. On Premier League Tots cards specifically, they've already started to go back up, right? I bought three Ruben Diaz on my transfer list right now for 830, 820,000 coins. He's already up 100K, right? There's going to be some really good flips with these Tots cards today and some of the Premier League out-of-pack specials that have come down late Friday night into Saturday morning, there's going to be some price rises on these cards again. But take a look at some of these other cards that are not Premier League that are in the bin right now. Marcus Llorente, 565,000 coins yesterday. He was 700k. There are cards everywhere on this game that are down bad from where they were because they are not Premier League. If you look at Kingsley Coman, this is directly affected, of course, by the Allen St. Maximin. Kingsley Coman yesterday went down to 480, went all the way back up to 540. He's 452,000 coins right now in a card that just went out of packs. If we go back and kind of look at some other like foot birthday cards even, uh, you could see that Nunez was back down. There was a, one card I wanted to take a look at here. Um, it was actually Genduzzi. Genduzzi is 360K. Uh, a card yesterday that was 400,000 coins. He is dropping down a price. There, again, like I said, are a lot of cards from non-Premier League links and non-Premier League um, players that are down a lot in price because people are building Premier League teams for the Cup and, of course, to try out some of these brand new cards. Emery Chan's 100,000 coins. Like, he is down horrendous man he was 150k yesterday and now he's 100,000 coins and Bundesliga team of the season is coming up next week that's a card to kind of keep in mind oh my goodness Eden Hazard is 245 he's down like 100k he was 340 yesterday so some of these prices are down so much because this Premier League tots is so cheap and a lot of people want to try out these players and at the same time it's just pushing all of the hype into the Premier League links, and that's the cards that people are buying. So that's kind of the story of the market right now. The market is just kind of a mess, right? It was really easy to make coins yesterday. Like we expected, these TOTS cards were very cheap in the first hour, as we mentioned. Like I bought Saka for... Um, what was it? The 740,000 coins. He went to 900K. He did, of course, come back down into the late night hours. And right now, he's 750, coming back up again into Saturday morning. So watch out for these Prem Tots cards. There's going to be fluctuations, but they'll probably be just like we see every single week. These Prem Tots cards will probably drop down further into the night tonight on Saturday. So if you're going to try them out today, just don't hold on to them for long. Their prices will probably continue dropping into the latter part of tonight. Now let's talk more about today on Saturday. What else is going to go on in this game? First of all, we have got to check out the Challenge SBC that's going to be dropping today. Remember what happened last Saturday? We had the Prem Challenge 2 SBC that dropped that five rare Dutch gold players pack that crashed all of the Dutch player prices on this game. Inside of this game today, we are going to see Tots Season Swap Challenge number four. And what this pack or what this SBC could give us, it's not a guarantee, but what it could give us is that eight players Premier League player pack SBC that they dropped with uh, Tots Challenge. I think it was three or I don't even know which one it was. But uh, whatever Tots Challenge we get today, um, watch out for that eight Premier League players pack tradable. If they do that, which I think is maybe even one of the rewards inside of the craft to glory. Yeah, the eight Premier League players pack. If they do that and it is tradable, that could mean some supply heading on to the game for those team of the season cards that are right now in the Premier League tots. So watch out for that. That's an SBC we know is coming today. And then guys, we have to look at SBC fodder, man, because these prices are some of the lowest prices we have ever seen on this game 85 rated cards are 6,000 coins that is legit the lowest i think they've just about ever been since the beginning of the game when 85s and nobody had coins at the beginning of the game but 6k for 85s is ridiculous but the entire fodder market is so low it's wild now if i were telling you to buy any rating of fodder right now what would i tell you i'd say 83s 84s and 85s because once again if we have some sort of SBC come out today I don't think it's out of question by the way to have an icon pack dropped on the game today because one common theme that we have had recently is 
EA's been going back and forth between Icon Upgrade Pack and a Hero Player Pick, and we have this Hero Player Pick that's expiring tomorrow, but they've been, after a Hero Player Pick, sometimes they've come back with a really quick Saturday release of an Icon Pack. So watch out for an Icon Pack today. If that does happen, that could make some fodder finally move. But guys, basically anything that is 83 to 86, if you want to do a quick club stock, be my guest, because these prices are crazy. Even 91s, I know we got Team of the Season cards that are in packs, and that's really hurting the supply um, and the prices of these high rated tots cards and we're probably going to have EFL team of the season cards coming into this game tomorrow on Sunday or maybe on Monday that could bring some more high rated tots cards to bring the fodder market down a little bit even more but if I were you guys I would club stock 83s to 86s just because they're going to be needed in this upcoming week whether it's player SBCs whether it's an icon pack that comes today tomorrow on Monday they're going to be needed at least a little bit specifically the 83s to the 85s and man 84s I think have the best ROI potential if there's going to be anything that makes them go up I mean the the gap between 84s to 85s is still about 3,000 coins that's a really good profit range there I mean 85s and 86s are so close in price that could mean they don't go up as much but then you've got 87s or 12k 88s or 18k it's crazy right now for fodder so at the very least I think these are going to be some of the cheapest fodder prices that we see for the rest of the year on this game. It's not going to get too much cheaper than this because think about it. All you had yesterday was pack supply, pack supply, pack supply. People opening packs for Premier League team this season. And now it's time for EA to start releasing SBCs to try to drain that away, drain coins out of this game once again to get people to keep opening packs. And I think they're going to do that today. So whether it's an Icon SBC or whether we see one of those flashback player SBCs or Ali Sun. This is one Tots card we have no news about yet. He could be an SBC. He could be an objective. Uh, don't know about Ali Sun yet. That's something to keep in mind. But last Saturday, we also had a flashback to Lufeu. I think today could be a Havertz day or Laporte day. Since we didn't have Havertz yesterday, I kind of thought he might have been then. But looks like EA are maybe going with the Saturday flashback trend with Havertz and or Laporte today. That would, of course, be a big SBC, depending on the price, depending on the stats. We've talked about it already, but watch out for your Prem center backs or Prem strikers slash attackers and links to that SBC if either of those were to drop on this game today. So club stock fodder, and if you really want to go in crazy, get on the gold rares. Gold rares at 650 um, are a very easy club stock. Their minimum price. Fill up your club. If you want to go unassigned, do it because these cards are going to go up probably to like 850, 900, maybe even 1,000 coins plus later on this week when the Premier League upgrade packs get dropped because it's going to be a coin drain spam. Everybody doing upgrade packs to try to pack team of the season cards. So that's kind of what's going on in this game. If you enjoyed the video today, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys on a Twitch stream today. Yeah, yeah, you heard it today on a Saturday. We're playing Weekend League, watching prices, and just seeing what EA dropped today on a Saturday. So if you're excited for that drop through, come through. Link is down below in the description. But I'll see you guys there. It's been Nathan for the count. Catch you guys later. Peace. Out.